Hi guys, I'm Zuzka. Welcome to my coffee talk. So, because you guys haven't left me really any questions on the last coffee talk video, um, I'm gonna just talk about myself. So, today I want to talk about what I'm gonna be doing on May 2nd um, in LA. I'm gonna be rappelling from a really tall building and I'm really nervous about it because I'm scared to death of heights. I'm really scared of heights, um, but I'm doing this for a really good reason. Um, I'm doing this for a fundraiser, esophageal cancer, it's just like I, I can't even pronounce it, esophageal cancer, because um, my really good friend's brother has died of this type of cancer. And what I've learned about uh, this disease is that it's really hard to detect, it starts as a heartburn, and um, if you don't go to doctor to to check on you and to make sure that you don't have the cancer, it can spread really fast and then it's um, deadly obviously. So um, it's something that needs to be, we need to raise awareness about this type of cancer to prevent more unnecessary and uh, out of nowhere deaths basically because really if you're having a heartburn and you just think it's a heartburn and you don't go check it up. It's can, it can be very dangerous. So guys, I just want to let you know, just make sure that you're um, going to doctor on a regular basis on just a regular checkup because it's so worth it, you know, and things that you may think that are not important, some heartburn or whatever, it may be fatal. And it, so that's why I want to do this. I want to raise the awareness because how horrible it would be. Imagine you have somebody who's close to you, your dad, your brother, mom, or, you know, anybody, like your best friend. And they've been telling you, oh, I've had this heartburn and nothing and all that stuff. And then suddenly they tell you, I'm dying because I haven't gone to doctor to check it up. And the thing is that if you catch it at the beginning, um, it can be curable, it's very much easily to be, not, I'm not saying easily, but it's curable and you can get rid of it. But when it gets to a certain point, then, you know, you can go through horrible torture and at the end you can actually die from it. So it's important that we raise the awareness and make people go to doctor and, and make sure that they're okay and all that stuff. My friend has told me this whole story about her brother and it was so heartbreaking, you know. I really, like, it made me cry when she was telling me that because it was just like, it was, first of all, it was out of nowhere. He went through a horrible torture, you know. He, miraculously, he lived longer than doctors told him that, that he's got only three months. Miraculously, he lived another five years, but under horrible conditions. And so that's why I, I think this is really important to raise awareness about this. And that's why I'm gonna do this <laughs> thing that I'm so scared of. And I'm gonna rappel from this building because it's gonna help the cause. So I wanted to invite you guys to come over on May 2nd. Um, there is a link below this video that will lead you to my fundraising page. I would love if you wanna, you know, um, donate to this cause because it's going to help the awareness if you don't donate or if you want to spread the word help me to spread the word about this if you want to come over and watch me rappel it would be great i would love to meet you guys so all the information about this fundraiser is below this video in the link so click on that jesse's gonna come with me i said i'm not gonna rappel without jesse i'm not gonna do this if i'm going down he's going down with me <laughs> just kidding no i'm just I'm gonna be more calm if he's gonna be there with me obviously so uh, he's gonna just talk me through the whole process uh i'm gonna be probably screaming i don't know what i'm gonna do on one hand i think like if i'm if i'm supposed to die <laughs> if the rope is not gonna hold me and i'm supposed to die i should die with dignity and i shouldn't uh, look like I'm scared but on the other hand it's just me being honest about how scary this is for me and that um, I'm willing to do things that I would normally not do for fun but I would do them only for a good cause and this is a good cause. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys that I have a brand new Z gym page so that you can see exactly what's going on in my Z gym what I offer and what you can achieve if you're gonna be working out with me on a daily basis. I'm super proud of my Z Gym. I'm super proud of my members. Uh, I love the community that, that we have there because everyone is super supportive and super nice and 
everyone is proud of the results which is awesome so that said i would like to see more before and before and after pictures from you guys i'm sure you you know you have those you're um, i hope you're tracking your progress and taking your before and after pictures because it would be a shame if you didn't uh, it's always nice to see the changes that happen so um, again the Z Gym link page is below this video so you can check it out um, and I wanted to encourage you to come and work out with me on a daily basis because my workouts really take 20 minutes a day in 20 minutes a day you can get into a really great shape awesome shape and all you need is an exercise mat pair of dumbbells one kettlebell jump rope that's it like really basic equipment I'm doing also a lot of body weight workouts and I started just recently doing beginner cardio series for complete beginners if you um, just want to start working out and you don't have yet the strength and stamina and endurance to do my uh, intense workouts then you can start this way and I've been working with my friends who are beginners and I've been putting them through my workouts and so um, I'm pretty confident that you're gonna love those so I would like to talk about one more thing you guys and it's about self-image issues because I get comments and emails from women of all ages from all over the world about their own self-image issues it's such a common thing nowadays and um, I just want to tell you guys you're really not alone if you feel like you do have self-image issues and you have some type of like lack of self-confidence when it comes to your looks or your, your appearance your body you're n really not alone because it's normal to have these thoughts for everybody literally every single person has these thoughts except that not everyone reacts to them the same way you know it's all about how you control these thoughts and how you look at them and some people can realize well this is just my thought I'm being silly whatever they you know kind of brush it off their shoulders and you know these people then don't feel like they have actual self-image issues but it's when you start spinning and you start obsessing about these thoughts and creating anxiety that's when it becomes an issue for you so realize that you're really not alone nobody thinks they're perfect you think that I think I'm perfect nobody thinks that and nobody that I know thinks that they're absolutely perfect everyone would like to change something about themselves everyone compares themselves to others you know or maybe and maybe not all the time you know some people have more discipline to do to not to do that but everyone here and there slips and does that you know because we're just humans we're um we're not that disciplined unless we work on it you know so it's about your own work you have to work on yourself from the inside out and exercise will obviously help you to get more confident exercise will help you to lift your mood and all that stuff but it cannot fix a um, deep-rooted problem that you have um, because you're creating your own anxiety by obsessing about your own thoughts so realize that there is nothing really wrong with you ever and you may not like the way you look you may not like certain body parts but you should look at it try to look at it in a in a way like okay so I'm having this problem maybe I don't let's say I don't like my muffin top okay let's say you feel like you're having too much fat around your belly now look at it as a problem is there something I can do to fix that okay so yeah I can fix it I can exercise I can you know um, do something with my diet change my diet and all that stuff I have a plan and I'm gonna follow this plan and that's what I'm gonna do that should take away your stress because then you have a plan and you know exactly what to do and then there's no reason to stress about it right and if it's something that you cannot change then why should you stress about it you can't change it right so for example I can stress about being short or having short legs like I have short legs I know that my like I feel like my torso is taller like longer than my legs but I can't there's nothing I can do about it 
like what am, am I supposed to go to some like operation and get my bones you know like longer no of course not so if it's something that I can't change then why to obsess about it you know and just realize that there's certain things you don't have to change everything about yourself sometimes it's just a shift in perspective and all we're trying to do all you want to do is just to feel happy and sometimes it's not about changing um, whatever is on your face and on your body but it's about changing your perspective about yourself that's what's gonna make you really happy I don't know I just hope this helps that's what I'm what I'm telling you right now when I get an email from a girl and she's got some horrible self-image issues and and she it just she just feels so lost and I feel really bad because nobody should feel that way you know where you're young you're you know you should be living your life you should be happy you shouldn't be you shouldn't be worried about your your body and what you look like you know you should be just enjoying your life trying to be active trying to do things that you really love that you enjoy and not sitting at home and and being trapped in your own mind feeling like there is something wrong with you you know so try to think about that sometimes it's really good to sit quietly and think about your thoughts and kind of like logically analyze it and sometimes it helps sometimes some things will click with us and you realize that you are just being silly it's like why am i obsessing why am i stressing about these things that don't really matter you know and that's what i want you to try so that's that and i have nothing else to talk about so guys please leave me a comment below ask me questions what do you want me to talk about because i do love doing these coffee talks for you i just need more topics to talk about and uh, hopefully there's gonna be more things more exciting things coming up in my life so that i can share that with you and uh, i would like to do these coffee talks every single week but just i'm just waiting for your questions so that's it for today and i will see you guys soon ciao